Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel Kalanadi. Today I'm going to continue with revisiting books that I was hotly anticipating back in 2017. Uh, this is basically where I just go through uh, one of my previous videos and tell you whether I have read any of the books that I was looking forward to and if I did what I thought about them. So this is going to be about the fourth batch of books from 2017 that I was looking forward to. A couple from September, but most of these are from October, November, and December. And I have put this particular one off for a long time because I just haven't read a bunch of the books in this particular batch, and I thought I would try to get some more of them read, and that hasn't happened, so I'm just gonna do this and then move on to 2018 stuff. With that being said, the first book in this batch I haven't read yet, and that is Jane Unlimited by Kristen Cashor. This book probably holds the record for a number of times I've checked it out from the library and still haven't read it, and then I got a free copy of it a couple of months ago and I still haven't read it. But I have heard other people say very positive things about it and I'm still really looking forward to reading it. It just has to find the right time to actually happen, you know? Autonomous by Annalee Newitz. I have read this one. I did a review of it when it came out, so I will link that if you're interested in it. This one has some really cool ideas. I thought the premise of it and a lot of the issues that it raised were very interesting. I don't think it's a perfect book, however, and I want to say that because I feel like since it came out, it's been getting a ton of critical acclaim. It's been nominated for some major awards and everything, and, and I'm saying, you know, it is worthy, but I also think it has some debut novel roughness in there, and I think that should be acknowledged. Like, it's it's not a perfect book. It's an enjoyable one, but not perfect. <laughs> These next two books I haven't read yet and don't have any good reasons why. It just hasn't happened yet. The first one is Akata Warrior by Nadia Korafor with this amazing cover. I love this cover. Also, the same story with uh, The Stone and the Skull by Elizabeth Bear. I've had it for like eight months, still haven't read it, and it has a very beautiful cover. And occasionally I look at this one and think, why haven't I picked this up? Because it sounds amazing. The book is beautiful. I haven't heard anybody else talk about it. I should read that. It'll happen. Next is Velista by Stephen Bruce. I have read this. I very much enjoyed it. I thought the humor in this particular Vlad Taltos novel was definitely on point. It really made me laugh. And I've already talked about it in an overview of the latest three books out in the series so far. So if you are a regular reader of the series and you're caught up and you want to hear my thoughts on that, I've got a video on it. It Devours, a Welcome to Night Vale novel by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. Have read this, very much enjoyed it, especially on audiobook, and I think it was definitely a step up from the first Welcome to Night Vale novel that the authors wrote. This one had a much better plot, like months later I can still tell you what it's about. My only gripe with this book is that if you're like me and you love the Welcome to Night Vale podcast, you're very attached to that. They basically retconned the smiling god in this story. Like, the smiling god is a huge part of It Devours, and it doesn't resemble the podcast version of the smiling god, which was way creepier and scarier, and I don't know why they changed that. But it was still a really good book. Austral by Paul McCauley. Haven't read this one yet, but I still really want to. I've heard good things about it. I'm still very interested in the concept of it. It's, you know, climate change science fiction. Um, the real reason why I haven't read it is I just haven't gotten a copy of it yet. I do think it's out in the US, so I will put in a request at my library and hopefully get it that way. Next is Barbary Station by Ari e. Stearns. This is a science fiction debut novel that I have to say I'm not really interested in anymore. Um, I've seen nothing but tepid reviews for this one, and that doesn't really inspire much confidence in me. So I'm not going to pursue it anymore. If a copy of it does happen to fall into my hands, I will read it or give it a shot, but otherwise I'm going to move on. Then one book on this list that I actually didn't like is Artemis by Andy Weir. This is his second novel, and I tried to lower my expectations for this one. I did not expect Weir to duplicate the success of The Martian by any means. That book was such a fluke. Um, I was surprised, however, at how much I disliked Artemis. Um, I did not think it was written well. I thought the humor was sophomoric and 
really out of place. All the characters felt the same. I really disliked the main character, Jazz, and I thought there were some bits of the plot that were just dumb or I found actually kind of offensive just thinking about them. So this one was pretty much a hard fail for me. About the only good thing I can say about it is that the science aspect, the um, how a, a moon base would be built, for example, was interesting and good, but everything else kind of sucked. <laughs> and then some more books that I haven't read yet. Beyond the Empire by KB Wagers. This is the conclusion to her In Drawn and War trilogy, and I'm still really looking forward to it. It's there at the library whenever I want to read it, so I will get it eventually. And then there's Remote Control by Nnedi Okorafor. This one isn't out yet, and frankly, I don't know what's going on with this book. I've seen multiple publication dates for it over a couple of years. It's made it onto actual publisher schedules, and then it disappears. I'm a bit miffed about this, in fact. <laughs> So it's not out. I have no idea when it's going to be out and I'm not going to talk about it again until I actually see a physical copy of it. And these last three books I have already read and I will try to be brief about them. The first one is The Will to Battle by Ada Palmer, the third book in her Terra Ignota series. I enjoyed this immensely and I did a separate review on it. The fourth book is coming out sometime in 2019 and I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the conclusion. Then there is Persepolis Rising by James S. A. Corey, which is the seventh book in the Expanse series. This book kicks off the final arc, the final third of the series overall, and I really liked it. It was definitely more interesting than the previous book, Babylon's Ashes, and I think the en ending arc for this series is going to be really great. And lastly, No Time to Spare by Ursula K. Le Guin, which is a collection of her blog posts. Now, I liked this because it's by Le Guin, and I think everything that she does is pretty much amazing. Um, but I didn't love this collection as much as I've loved other collections and books by her. Um, it's not really about writing or genre or those sorts of things. It's more reflections on daily life, aging, politics, the adventures of her cat and such. Very much blog material rather than um, professional essays and stuff. So it was enjoyable. I think I should come back to it at some point and reread some of the pieces in it. But but mainly I thought it was good, it was okay, and I've enjoyed other collections by her much more. And that's that! Those are the last books published in 2017 that I was really looking forward to. I will read some of these and I will talk about them later. Um, but for now I'm on to 2018 releases and I'll be doing another revisit video for the first quarter of 2018 releases very soon. Can't believe we're this far into the year already. <laughs> But anyway, um, let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought about them. Thank you very much for watching, and until I talk to you later, bye.